good day guys now welcome to my youtube channel once again queen with tk so if it's your first time joining me thank you so so much for taking time of your busy day to come to my channel and watch my video and if it is not your first time joining me well then welcome back and thank you so so much for the continuous support and please continue to support me and you know tell your friends to tell their friends you know because the more we are the merrier and don't forget to subscribe like and share the video so today is actually not a good day this is not a good video i have been taking a lot of light-hearted videos i have been taking you know a lot of you know i've been taking okay please just excuse me a bit Sorry, I just had to close the window. Anyways, so I've been taking a lot of light-hearted videos, you know, fun videos. And because, you know, everything has been going well, you know, Miss um, Universe, Zosibini is back. And, you know, just the country, all in all, everything was going okay until this morning. And when I say this morning, I mean today because I'm taking this video on a Tuesday night. Um, so today, um, I woke up, well, we as a country, we woke up to the news um, that uh, a man, a young man, a master's student, a master's student from Fort Hare University has been stabbed to death by his girlfriend. Um, I think his girlfriend was actually also a student at Fort Hare because I, there's a video of them on Twitter where, you know, they are together. It seems like they graduated together. And then obviously he chose to further his studies. I'm not sure what she's doing. So the woman, the woman in question, I'm sorry, I'm just checking here. The woman in question, her name is Yolanda Nogemani. So she stabbed her boyfriend, Yonela Boli, and he died in hospital. So um, this, this is very sad. And what makes it more sad is the attention that this is getting from, you know, the media, the attention that, is, that this is getting from the, from, you know, government, the attention that this is getting from the society altogether. And this is just months, just a few months after, you know, there was a big, there was, you know, the, there was big Me Too, um, sorry, not Me Too, in my next campaigns after Uyinene, a, a, a UCT student, was raped and killed by a post office official or by a post office employee. There was a big um, movement, you know, feminists were speaking out, you know, people were, were posting about her. Even now, if you type her name, you, you'd actually find the whole story just in case you missed it. But you know, the point that I'm trying to make is it was so, so big, you know, and then all, and then all these cases about other women that, you know, had been killed by their boyfriends came out. And I do understand, I do understand, don't get me wrong. I do understand that, you know, when it comes to gender-based violence, mostly it's women that are victims. But then does it really mean that as a country, when it happens to a man, we shouldn't care? Because that's that's exactly what is happening right now. It's like we don't care. If right now you type this guy's name, um, your yeah, he's your Nella body, if I'm not mistaken. If you type your Nella body's name, because I tried doing you know more research um before taking this video, if I type his name, nothing comes up. If I come to YouTube and I, I type his name thinking maybe there's a video about him, nothing comes up. Um, so is it, is it really, is, is it, is it fair or do we not care as a country if it's a man that, you know, that, that suffers or dies in the hands of their partner or in the hands of a woman? We don't care. I mean, the amount of hypocrisy that is actually happening right now is shocking as a country. And I feel like, you know, there were so many movements. There were so feminist. There were so many marches. There was a lot of things. There was even um live streams when they were having memorial service for Oyinene and all of that. But now, 
a man has gone through almost the same thing and it's like no one cares and even this um this uh, this information i found it out on on social media i first saw it on twitter and then i saw it again on facebook that you know this happened and when when you look at newspaper headlines when you listen to radio when you do research when you google there's nothing but then with the Uyinene case, even now, if you were to actually Google her name and surname, you're going to see, you know, K her case, you're going to see her information. Now, I know that I'm I'm always one to, you know, say that, you know, I, I advocate for women empowerment. I'm always one that, you know, I always say that as, you know, I'm studying law, I want to protect women and I want to represent women and I want to make sure that women are safe. But one thing that I'm not is I'm not a biased person. At the end of the day, whether he was killed by a woman or a man, he is human. Nobody deserves to die. Nobody, nobody has a right to take anyone's life. Not your mother, not your father, not, not anyone, not even someone who picked you up when you were homeless and, and made you and cleaned you up. Nobody has a right to your life. Even yourself, you're not allowed to take your own life. So I'm not biased and I did make a video on Uyine and that's why I'm making a video on this because to me, this is a person, this is a human being. It could, it's someone's brother. It's someone's son. This person had dreams of their own. And I know that, you know, when I was looking through social media, some people were like, oh no, you know, crime is crime. You know, there's no gender. But then the same people that are saying that when this thing happened to Uyinene and all those other women last year, a few months back, you know, people were so quick to say, oh, men are trash, you know, be careful. But nobody's saying be careful of women. You know, nobody's saying, oh, women are this and this and this. I know that maybe maybe it's because, you know, there's not a lot of cases where, you know, a woman is violent towards a man. And, you know, with my experience of watching, you know, crime series and watching documentaries of women that are in jail because of killing their partners, you know, shows like Wives with Knives and, you know, shows like Lockdown and things like that. I know that, you know mostly um a woman is pushed to do that but that doesn't mean that i condone it just because you were pushed or just because you were under emotional distress or or you know or just because you were too angry nobody has a right to take anyone's life at all and as much as i say that i i protect women and i'd want to represent women with my all when i'm actually a practicing ad, um, advocate or an attorney i would I, I would not condone such behavior and you know psychology does say that um because i like reading a lot of psychology books for you know i'm sure most of you know so psychology does say that you know when it comes to murder it's actually a psych it's psychology um uh, fused with um it's psychology fused with criminology so they say that you know um the weapon that actually kills someone plays a big role so if if you know someone is killed you know by a knife or you know if someone is stabbed it's usually someone that you know they know and that is and there is it's this thing called emotional killing which obviously i think here this was the case because she was emotionally attached to, to this person this person was her was her partner or was her boyfriend and no matter what he did maybe she she invested too much in the relationship and it was not going the way that she wanted maybe the guy wanted to leave her maybe the guy cheated you know there's a lot of things that would get us angry as as people and there's a lot of things that would you know would trigger a lot of emotions but there is no one that actually has a right to take anyone's life whether female or male there is no one so like i said i'm not a biased person i want justice for yonela body i do want justice for yonela body and i do you know want i'm going actually i i'm going to follow this case and i'm going to see where it ends because there's to me it's like if it wasn't self-defense there is no other there's no other reason that you can take someone's life 
if it was if it was self defense like oh we were fighting then maybe I pushed him by mistake and he fell and hit his head somewhere then he passed away now that is understandable and that is something even me as a practicing um lawyer I would you know be happy to represent or I'd be happy to stand for that you know it was just a you know an alteration or an argument and and then this happened but then for you to just stab someone and like I'm saying I might make a video again on this story because like I'm saying I tried doing a lot of research on it I tried doing research on it like in general not even a lot of research just research on it in general I found nothing I don't know if the if they were fighting I don't know if it was self-defense I don't know if it was I don't know if he was sleeping. I don't know if he was breaking up with her. I don't know anything about this case. All I know is that I actually want justice for this guy because he lost his life. He had plans for his life. And, you know, this woman, she is dangerous. She is dangerous to to everyone. If she feels that she she's she's got a right to take someone's life and she, if she's done it once, she can easily do it again. So I'm, I am going to make... As soon as I find more information, I'm going to make another video on this on this case just to, you know, update you as to what is happening. And I will definitely, definitely follow it because like I'm saying, I'm not biased. And this this guy, this young man that had so much ahead um, of his life deserves um, justice, just like all those women did. Every person who's a human being actually deserves justice. Nobody just deserves to die. Even even the criminals, they don't deserve to die. Nobody deserves to die. And I know that I might sound like I'm I'm contradicting myself because I've sup I, I have before supported um I have before supported uh what's this um death penalty. I have supported that penalty, but then that's just a video for another day as to why I'm saying criminals, you know, still have a right to life, but also why I feel like that penalty is important. I don't want this video to be long. This is not a, a nice video. This is a sad video. And yeah, so I hope if, if, if you have any information on this story, you can just comment on the comment section below. If you know more information on this story, you can comment on the comment section below as well. And, you know, you can just share this video. You can share it on your WhatsApp groups. You can share it on your social media so that whoever has, you know, information can actually share that information. Um, so that will be all for today, guys. And this is not a good video. But yes, enjoy. Um, enjoy your day and I will upload again tomorrow or Friday. Bye.